Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, we've got some cards pulled here. Let's see what's going on. Um, so we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so it looks like here there might be problems in a second relationship or a second marriage, or second significant relationship or or second marriage for some of you um it could have been a blended family type situation for some of you doesn't have to be but that dynamic is coming up here um there are some issues about balance um maybe about someone taking more than than they actually should be taking there's not equality here there's like the power dynamic is off um there could be also someone is given the two or more parties and uh, they feel like they're the boss in this situation they they feel like they um they yield the power they have the power okay because two people need energy effort time love money resources from them this could be uh you Taurus or this is how someone else you're dealing with feels about the connection um there's also an energy of some of you you feel like you have given somebody chance after chance you have started this relationship over and over again to no avail, to no different outcome, the same outcome. Off camera, when I was shuffling the cards, the vision that I got for you is like somebody trying to get on the horse, but they kept sliding off and falling to the ground. And they, and they would just repeatedly do that. like, And it wasn't like a fall, like a quick fall off of the horse. It was like a sliding off the horse. So I don't know if like somebody slides somebody was sliding into DMs or somebody was sliding, somebody has like a gradual decline. Like you get back with them, it, it kind of goes well and then it just starts to a gradual decline to this person doing the same thing over again. Um, there's an energy of somebody being more invested in this relationship than the other. Now that could be invested in terms of money, uh, resources, love, energy time whatever it may be but someone is more invested in the relationship than the other there's also maybe even the dynamic of the other person loving one of you love the other more than the other person you know the, the, the power dynamic the the shift is off there is no equality here uh the two of pentacles somebody felt like they could deal with this issue they could kind of juggle the fact that you know this was not the ideal situation that is a lot of work um and they were handling it they were doing it they were dealing with it um you could be dealing with the capricorn uh virgo um taurus like yourself maybe even a scorpio coming up uh it could be anybody here but somebody was um yeah they were um they were the magician um or they were the, the juggler they were yeah they were trying to juggle you, um, juggle two different people. If not juggle you, then this was somebody trying to keep up an act with you because the Joker's coming out. The Joker takes any energy of uh, any suit, any card in in the um, in the deck. So this person was trying to act as if they had it all together, that they can be what it is you needed them to be, that they have resources, they have money, they have, um, they're emotionally stable, they're mentally stable. They were really trying to keep up the act here. Um, this is, um, they were trying to be the actor. Yeah. They were, they were, it was all just an act here. They knew that they were being, um, scrutinized, analyzed by you, that you were watching their every move or vice versa. This is what someone was doing to you tours. It looks like somebody's at, it, at, at their breaking point. It's over. The Queen of Swords is coming out. She understands that in order to have a new life, you really have to sever ties with the old one. She's about tearing down that old dynamic paradigm and starting a new one. She will start from scratch. She is the executive in her life. She's the executive. She's the executor. I don't know why that word's coming out, but 
this is a person who will make that final cut, that final call. She understands the magnitude and the responsibility that comes with that. To really cut somebody off, to cut something out, to leave a job, to leave a person, to leave a marriage, whatever it may be. She understands the magnitude of that and she's willing to carry that because she's willing to go on. She feels like she's learned what she can learn in this situation and it's time to move on. This may even be prompting some of you to move towards more spirituality. Um, to kind of ground yourself because you've been through so much with this relationship, maybe even another, other relationships, friendships. You may have been cut off or cut out or shut out, or this is what you're doing. Somebody is saying no more. Um, I understand that this is this needs to be over. It needs to be over for me. Um, somebody is really being the executive in their life. The Queen of Swords is coming out. The Queen of Swords also talks about before cutting. Out loved ones get um, spiritual guidance, advice. Um, and I, however you do that, with that's with a counselor, pastor, tarot card reader. I don't know where you're going to go for that. But um, it says get guidance before really severing ties with this person. It looks like this person made um, a lot of promises. Or this was you, Taurus. A lot of promises. Um, this is the, the infidel, the... The philandering spouse, the cheating, lying spouse, someone who makes promises just to break them. They had no intention of fulfilling these promises. Someone who overindulges in everything. Food, drink, women, men, drink, uh, smoke, whatever. You know, they just don't know how to have balance. They go overboard. Um, they aren't committed to anything. They uh, procrastinate. Uh, they just, yeah, they overindulge there. This talks about the seven deadly sins. So this is somebody who is, you know, playing with fire here. Who knows the ramification of their choices and still does and makes the wrong choice. So this is somebody who's just like, you know, they're just not in a, in a place where they can be what you need them to be. Um... But staying with you somehow is beneficial to them. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles coming out. The cards want you to know that um, this could be you or the other person. Shutting down is not the answer. It's heal your sacral chakra. See, so somebody could be shutting down in terms of intimacy. You're not talking to this person. You're not telling them how you feel. You're not having sex with them or maybe even with anyone. You're just not engaging altogether. You have completely shut down everything emotions physical all of that um and that's it it's not the answer you need to heal your sacred chakra and let me tell you why it's not the answer because the cards that you got this other card here it's asking you um do you communicate your feelings your thoughts freely your throat chakra some of you like completely shutting down you're not even talking to this person um it's you know it's more to preserve yourself but it's also to, it might even be able to get back. Like, let me just completely shut down, cut them off. Um, let me starve them of information, of my energy. Um, let's see if I'll get some change there. Or will this really shake them up? So, but the cards want you to say, no, no, no. That, that's not the responsible, um, mature way to deal with this. Communicate. Um, speak your mind because shutting down is not the answer um we do have that joker here he is a joker she is a joker we have a player we have somebody out to get your resources um or whatever it is you bring to the table um you giving this problem excuse me not this problem they could be a problem you're giving this person a chance in this relationship chance over after chance You've done something over and over again. You can even be listening to something over and over again or engaging in something over and over again. Um, it's time to really make some final decision. It looks like you're doing that with the Queen of Swords coming out. So this is um, what the month of July has to offer for you. I'm sorry that the reading wasn't peaches and cream. Um, but you know what? We've got next month. we also got weekly readings coming up. Uh, just stay positive 
things will turn around. A uh, Taurus, this has been your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also go to the website and book there. There are only two ways of getting in contact with me. Website, phone number below. Any other way is scam, okay? And I'm not responsible for that. So just make sure that you are, you know, doing your due diligence, okay? Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can always do that by buying me a coffee. Yep, the link is below. It says buy Elle a coffee. Buy me a coffee. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.